Hi guys, what do you think of my new fishing vest? Pretty fancy, huh? So I got this for about $20 off of Amazon. I think it was $20, might have been $30, but it was pretty cheap. This isn't a name brand one. Uh, this is, as the little patch here says, this is from Bass Dash. Not a sponsor. I bought this off of Amazon. I'll, I'll put a link to it down below if you're interested, if you want to check it out for yourself. I bought this because I've never fished with a fishing vest before. I've never worn a fishing vest, never used one. And no one that I fish with uses fishing vests either. And so I thought, okay, is this just like an old fashioned thing? Is this only for old people? Is this just an old timey holdover from fly fishing? I do know that, that fly fishers, traditional fly fishers do use fishing vests, but I don't really see too many Tenkara anglers fishing with them. So I went on to Amazon and I bought what looked like an interesting one that got decent reviews. I didn't want one that was too, too much. I didn't want it to like cover all of me because that would be too hot and this wouldn't be comfortable. I liked this one because it was relatively small. I mean, it has these two pockets on the front or these two areas of pockets on the front. And if you can see the back here, it has a couple of pockets back there. I have my keys in one of them and I've got a couple of Tinkara rods sticking out of the other one. That's not super comfortable. It's not especially comfortable having the rods right there, but it works, right? Uh, let me show you what else I have in the pockets here, what I have going on. Then we'll go fish the creek that I'm, that I'm standing right next to here. For today, I have a water bottle. This is a 700 milliliter bottle, 23.7 fluid ounces. So it can hold a, a decently sized water bottle. Uh, in this little mesh pocket in the front here. I have some lip balm in the zipper pocket behind it. I have my lines. Can you guys see this? I think you can. Uh, also on the left side here I have my pliers, my hemostats. On the right side I have my little uh, ultralight fish counters which you can buy when they're in stock which isn't very often but when they are in stock you can buy them at my flytyingyarn.com website. On the right side here, got some tippet, uh, a spool of tippet in this little front pouch. I've got, in this zipper pocket, got my little fly box. And then there's a larger zipper pocket behind there with the GoPro that I record most of my videos on when I'm actually fishing, I use that. So decently sized pocket. Got my sunglasses and then some GoPro batteries and my uh, $10 Walmart fake AirPods. So that's it. Gonna go fish for an hour or two, see how this feels. And then uh, I'll give my verdict at the end. Are fishing vests worth it? Or are they just uh, an old fashioned holdover from a fishing era gone by? Guess we'll find out. Okie doke, first stop here. Really good looking spot right there. I put a nine foot line on my dragon tail Mizuchi. Uh, I wanted to put an 11 foot line on here, but I actually don't have an 11 foot line with me or a 10 foot line. So we're going to be fishing with a nine foot line. I think I'm going to stand in the water here so that if I do hook into a fish, I have a better chance of landing it. Okay. First cast. I might have spooked already what was in here. It might have seen me as I was standing on the bank getting ready. So I'm not too worried if I don't catch anything out of here. I'm right next to a road. You might have just seen a car go by. I'm in Idaho. And uh, this is a brand new stream to me. I've never fished it before. So I don't know what's in here. I also put my phone and my pocket knife, which were in my pockets. I put those in the fishing vest also. The vest feels good so far. I kind of like it. Fish on, yes. Decent fish. Got him. That is a fat fish. What is that? Looks like a rainbow. Fat rainbow trout. And this is actually 
I guess a cutthroat or a cut bow. Um, the spotting pattern looks like a rainbow, but it does have the slash jaw. It does have that cutthroat mark underneath it. Look how fat this fish is. It's a little football. That's awesome. Not a big fish, about seven inches. But can you see that cutthroat mark? Let's say goodbye to our little football friend as he struggles to escape. See ya, buddy. Awesome, I mean, that was within just a few minutes. That bodes well for the rest of the stream here. I'll show you a picture, by the way, of the fly that I'm using. It's what was already on this line. And so I couldn't be bothered to change it. Got one. Yes, I thought there might be one over there. Okay, uh, this one's bigger. Might be nine or 10 inches. He's fighting, fighting hard. Could even be bigger, could be 11. Yes, that is a nice fish for this stream. That's awesome. It's a rainbow. Don't see a cutthroat slash on it. Pretty fish though. Nice fish, about 10 inches. See ya, buddy. I'm glad I'm fishing with the Mizuchi here. This rod has a little bit more backbone to it, which means that it's not great for catching like three and four inch fish, but it's awesome for catching bigger fish especially when you want to be in control if you want to to be in control of that fight and the fish are a little bit bigger this is a great rod for that i've caught 18 inch fish and multiple i've got one 18 incher and multiple 16 inchers i think on this rod and then lots in the 13 14 uh, inch range and this is the perfect rod for that no i wasn't recording i just caught a fish in here that was fish number three. I caught it in the back right corner. Dang it, I thought I was recording. That makes me angry. It wasn't an amazing fish. It was a seven incher, but still a fish is a fish. I like showing you guys the fish that I catch. The line got all tangled in the bush here, but uh, I guess I'll just have to catch 10 more fish to make up for it. Let's see if I can cast alongside that downed tree there without getting into the tree, without getting caught in the tree behind me. I want to... Oh, that was lucky. I bounced it off of the tree. That was okay. That was better. Need to get a little bit closer. There we go. I hit the tree, but I was able to bounce it off into that lane alongside it. Oh, there we go. Where I wanted. Got him. Six inch rainbow trout. Fish on. Oh, and off. Fish on. Got him. See ya, buddy. Another rainbow. Got one. Decent. Yes. I was going to say, that looks like a different species, and it is. This is a brook trout. So we've gotten a rainbow trout, and either a cut bow or a... I don't know, it might have been a west slope cutthroat, but it looks like a cut bow to me. And a brook trout. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, never mind me saying brook trout. Scratch that. This is a bull trout which is much more rare and which is a native fish. It's native to this area. 
I did not expect to catch one of these up here. That's amazing. See ya, buddy. Well, that is awesome. That's a real treat. No idea there were bull trout in here. I mean, I guess I kind of knew that they were in this general area, but they weren't even on my radar for what I thought I would catch in here today. That is so cool. When I first saw the green, oh, next cast. Another fish. When I first saw the green of that fish, hold on. Now that's a brook trout. Hold on, let me get a picture to show you guys the difference. This is wild, four species, or three and a half. Yeah, that was definitely a brook trout. Weird, so cool though. And yes, I know that bull trout are actually a char as our brook trout, you don't need to tell me. Every time I catch a bull trout, someone says, actually, bull trout are a char. I know, I know. In some states, you're not allowed to fish for bull trout. In Idaho, you are. Now, I obviously was not fishing for bull trout. It was just a bycatch. But you are allowed to fish for bull trout in Idaho. They're not endangered, but they are a threatened species but there are a lot of them in Idaho. They're more in danger in states like Oregon and California and Montana, less so in Idaho. Oh, look at this thing. This is some sort of nest. Like there's moss on top of this log here, this stump. There's a little nest in there. There's nothing in there, no animal, but that's kind of neat. Ooh, that was a fish. There we go. Oh, he came off right at the net. Bummer. Oh, got another one. Awesome. Looks like we're back to rainbows. Sweet, I'll take it. Or that could be, I mean, that's a cut bow or something. It had the, had the cutthroat slash. I know that West Slope cutthroat trout can sometimes look like rainbow trout, but these don't really look like those. These look like rainbows. They just happen to have that cutthroat slash. So I'm gonna say that they're cut bows. I'll say that they're a hybrid until I catch one that looks more cutthroaty. Got one. I'm excited each time I land a fish, even more so than usual, because I want to see what species it is. I think rainbows are the norm in here. That's like the default fish. And this is another rainbow. Still happy to catch them. This is awesome. What a cool creek. I'm, I mean, I'm parked right here. Like it did not take long to get to this creek. And like I said earlier, cars are driving by, but man, this is just this little gem of a creek, right? Right by the road. It's so accessible. It is awesome. Fish off! Fish off. No, again, I wasn't recording. What is wrong with me? But this time, I have the fish in the net, and this one is a cutthroat. This looks like a cutthroat. I don't know if you can really see it, but the, the spotting is much more distributed, more spaced out, and it definitely has that cutthroat slash that is what a West Slope cutthroat looks like. Sorry I suck at filming today. 
See ya, buddy. So that fish came from underneath the tree. Kind of that calm water right underneath the tree over there. And I, I don't think I was recording, so that's a bummer. Fish on. What's it gonna be? It's like a brook trout. You never know what you're gonna get on this stream. Yeah, that was definitely a brook trout. Okay guys, so bear with me here. I'm having some camera difficulties. I thought that I was just forgetting to press record each time, but the camera is just like shutting off on its own automatically. I don't know why, it's stopping recording. So I, I hope that this video will be salvageable because the fishing has been awesome, but I know that it's missed several catches. I'm gonna try to keep fishing and we'll see what happens. Fish on. Good fish. Whoa. We got him. Looks to be a beautiful rainbow trout. About eight inches. Oh, see ya, buddy. Fish on. As soon as the fly hit the water. This is, oh, this is another bull trout. So I, I don't know if I was recording for the first one. I hope I was, but this is a bull trout, guys. With the first one, I thought for a second that it was a, a brook trout. But it wasn't. It was a bull. Check that guy out. Beautiful, native, feisty bull trout. See ya, buddy. There we go. another bull trout bull trout oh, let me see actually I just want to double check yep that's another bull trout that is so cool see you buddy there we go oh no the line is caught Come on. Okay, that was a disaster. But we have a fat rainbow trout. Ah, uh, cutthroat. Fat little fish, another little football. Fish on. Kind of far away though. Let's see if I can land it. There we go. Nice fish. Nice. Did the fly come out? Looks like the fly came out. Nice rainbow or cutthroat. That might be a west slope. Well, that looks more rainbowy to me. It had a little bit of the slash, but not much. Again, I think a lot of the rainbows and cutthroats in here are, are hybrids. Fish on. Got him. 
I should be heading back to the car, but I'm having too much fun. Very nice. Okay, I think this up here is going to be the last place I fish. I'm kind of running out of daylight and GoPro batteries. Fish on. Line is stuck in the tree. Okay, nice fish to end on. Beautiful rainbow to end the day on. Yeah, that's like a uh, 10 or 11 incher. Awesome. What a sweet creek. Awesome fishing. Well, technical difficulties aside, that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. Really fun creek, lots of fish. I caught 19 fish in a bit under two hours. Four different species, four and a half, maybe. Brook trout, bull trout, rainbow trout, cutthroat trout, and then some cut bows. And uh, just a lot of fun fishing. I hope the footage turned out. I hope I can salvage the video here. As for the vest, I loved it. It was a lot of fun. Now I know that you don't see a lot of Tinkara anglers fishing with vests because Tinkara anglers don't have a lot of gear. Whereas if you're a traditional fly angler, uh, you've got a lot more stuff on you, it seems, right? A lot more flies, whatever. Uh, but this is a pretty small vest, pretty compact. You know, it doesn't take up too much space. It's not too hot. It's pretty comfortable. And uh, yeah, I, I like this thing. This is fun and it's, it's much cheaper than, uh, than any sort of specialty Tenkara pouch you're gonna find. Again, $20, $30, whatever this was. Uh, the one downside is that, so there are pockets on the back. They're not quite big enough for a jacket. Maybe if you like stuffed it in, maybe if you had like a wind jacket, a wind shirt kind of thing, that would fit in there. It would have to be a pretty lightweight jacket to fit in there. Otherwise, yeah, nice little piece of gear. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go find a campsite. I might even just camp here for the night, but uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out my flytyingyarn.com store if you're looking for yarn for your fly tying needs. And then finally, I have another YouTube channel called SUV RVing that covers all of my non-fishing adventures if you wanna check that out. Links to all of those things and more will be in the video description.